Hello friends, this is Sai, Sai Farendra from SQL School and I assure you complete practice oriented lectures in our very very useful course SQL DBA with Azure the cloud environment. Come on, let's understand what does our course include and why we need to go for it before that let's see what is database a platform to host a platform to store any type of data any amount of data and to operate on this database to perform operations like storage, security, management, monitoring activities on this database, we need a software called DBMS, Database Management System. So example DBMS include SQL Server, IBM DB2, MySQL, Oracle, so on. So here we go. We prefer to go for SQL Server, it is cheaper, advantage of SQL Server, it is cheaper, easy to use and free technical support from Microsoft, including free updates. Updates mean service packed patch activities. And another greatness of SQL Server, it supports any cloud platform. Yes, what does the cloud means? Yes, any remote storage environment, we call it as cloud. The remote storage environment is called cloud. We have Azure cloud. Azure supports SQL server, something like this on my screen. And we have AWS, a separate course, a weekend program exclusively for AWS on SQL server. And we have Google Cloud Provider, GCP, and GCP supports SQL Server. Recently, Salesforce also started to get into SQL Server. I mean to say, SQL Server, a great database management system. It is not limited to Microsoft technologies or Microsoft platforms only. It has its presence in non-Microsoft environments as well. Now, yes, we are into DBA. What we do on this database, right? Yes, assume a car. Car has different, different spare parts for different purpose. Designed carefully after my planning activities, then design then assembling together, then car gets tested carefully in multiple ways and then car goes live, car gets sold to the customer, then comes service, maintenance, repairs, tenting work, etc. Same way, same way, let's take a database. Developers would be involved in design, coding, programming the database. Then what is it is tested in possible options, possible aspects, database goes live. Then comes maintenance, repair, security, health checks, our task. We are the database doctors. We need to doctor the database carefully. Something goes down, we require a DBA. I mean, we as a DBA need to be attentive. Something goes bad, something goes corrupt in a database. As a DBA, it's our responsibility to repair. We need to ensure database is available 24 7. Right? So here we go. From our course, from our lengthy SQL DBA course, we would be understanding all those doctoring activities the maintenance repair service pack activities in three different levels level one support in any real world project environment you have different levels of support 
we have level 1 support activities to be understood then level 2 then level 3 level 2 level 3 is completely into tuning and troubleshooting level 1 is more into audits and monitoring activities we need to touch base with every aspect and finally yes it's 100 percent hands on completely real time we need to focus more on common errors and solutions we have session wise mock interviews and dp300 certification guidance there are more than 1000 faqs with complete solutions during the classes itself yes let's learn it for a reason let's learn it for a cause let's make our training sessions useful we have nice case studies and project work for our resumes and as we offer as we provide devops azure devops training as well as we provide azure devops training as well we will be having the integration activities like how the devops team needs to communicate will be communicating with the dba team how developer team will be communicating with the dba team how bi environments will be communicating with the dba team yes our main focus would be on the blue box core dba but again in real world how the process works how the communication channels will actually function we are going to learn in addition to the step by step carefully designed chapter wise course curriculum right from the basics to architecture backups different different types of backups restores user interface as well as script based restores limitations of each we have something called recovery models jobs and security database mail security there are seven different levels of security and we have tuning activities performance tuning query tuning activities like partitions compressions indexes statistics and index management activities we have good amount of tuning tools and execution plan analysis in our course we have lock management that we need to practice yes 100 percent practice oriented lock management isolations live lock deadlock and replications and we have log shipping activities mirroring and then health check activities repairs troubleshooting updates and service pack hot fix activities apart from this we have always on we have always on in non clustered environment in chapter number 25 and in case you are looking for more you will step into azure we have azure cloud environment migrations tuning audit troubleshooting hadr backups restore geo replication etc then comes clustering components with security management and there comes cluster setup and always on in cluster environment chapter 38 so chapter 25 talks about always on non clustered environment chapter 37 38 very very crucial for our course they talk about cluster technically practically will understand step by step activities on cluster components and always on implementations will be inclined towards dp200 201 examination with virtual machines and when to go for which license type when to go for cloud when to go for on premise how to make sure we ensure 24 7 availability of data and more importantly chapter wise mock test throughout the course and common errors and solutions for example yes chapter wise 
concept wise common errors and solutions the co common very very common errors and solutions one set whereas whereas the other set includes all possible errors and solutions like what's the error message and what's the dba action again error message dba action a 26 page document to be learned carefully throughout the course yes it's our duty to make sure we make you job ready and you have to thank us from from your job desk we need it so our course is into box number one nine starts from box one slowly get into box nine no prerequisites for this course we'll start from the very very basics and after one nine you are looking for more exposure more exposure more subject lines then you may step into plan b that includes azure dba and in case you are looking for experienced profile you would like to showcase more then you can upgrade yourself to plan c later that is 1 9 10 11. how azure devops will be helping a dba yes devops development plus operations as a dba we would be more on to operation side monitoring management etc and we need to have complete communication with the core devops team that's why nowadays in linkedin and other portals we generally see as a dba they expect us to have some knowledge on devops as well to understand the complete process so in our course as i mentioned earlier we'll start from the basics of database understand all concepts including the architecture common errors solutions hadr activities with always on in non-clustered environment yellow box this is one and nine boxes in fact the first box yellow box includes these concepts and box nine would be from transactions backups etc then then comes the azure the azure dba activities to be more specific here it is the yellow box the basics one then nine and ten here we go yellow box the basics then nine core dba with a project work and then 10 with azure activities azure dba activities right from the basics of azure cloud basics to migrations hadr and so on security management audit alerts and elastic jobs etc until clusters and always on i assure you complete practical lectures and here is a core split core dba activities then comes azure dba activities and finally devops chapters 1 to 27 core dba 39 with azure and finally comes chapter 1 to 27 total devops from 40th chapter to 57 with this information i request you to go through this course content carefully step by step to get some idea on what we are going to learn either you go for live online or on demand video any module any component any type of training type the same curriculum and same concepts same examples and same mock test as well the final synopsis what we are going to learn in our course yes in our course we are going to or what we do as a dba 
yes on my screen as a dba we need to have a complete control on the database monitoring activities troubleshooting activities repairing activities securing and tuning activities we need to ensure it's our responsibility to ensure 24 7 availability of data so here it is by end of our course we should be able to we will be able to get complete hands-on with these 50 checklist activities including third party tools and ticketing tools part of our course well with this information i assure you complete practical training approach again and again and we shall wait to see you in our live demo sessions. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Thank you once again.